Hey everyone, I'm Monica J. Sutton. I'm an early childhood educator and an online education creator. If you have young children, you may know me from my YouTube videos called Circle Time with Miss Monica. In today's video, I am going to share with you how I bring my Circle Time lessons to life by using Adobe Stock photos and videos. So today I'm going to select a couple of photos and videos that will go perfect with my lesson on letter V. We'll be talking about letter V. And in order to bring it to life so the children get a better concept of things that start with letter V, listening for that beginning sound, I'm going to choose the perfect photos and videos to add to the video. And then what I'll do is take you over to my Adobe Premiere and show you how I drop those photos and videos right in there and bring it to life. All right, guys, let's have some fun. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we are. So the first thing I like to do is head to Adobe Stock, sign in, and then search for the images and videos that I'm going to be using in my Circle Time video. Now for today's video, I will be looking for things that start with letter V. We're working on letter V with the children. And so I'm going to go to this drop down here and you can choose exactly what you're looking for specifically, or you can even just click all. But for today, I know I want a video. So let's start with video. And I'm looking for volcanoes. So we're going to put in volcano. And let's head to volcano eruption. I think that'll be a great visual. Now look at all of these options. Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this, look at this. Now when you scroll over, oh my goodness, first let's just look at these options. Look at all these options. Okay, let's go back up. Now when you scroll over the video, it actually starts the video. So you can get an idea of what the video looks like. You just scroll over one and it gets and it starts. But I really like this one. Look at the volcano erupting. Now this makes a visual. So I go right up here and I can click this download button because I've already um, actually purchased this or you can click it and open it up a little bigger and for you you probably have to click buy purchase but since I already downloaded this before I'm going to re-download okay and it's downloading and then it's going to pop up really large on my screen and then I just go ahead and save it to my desktop and then after I save it to my desktop I make sure ahead of time that I created a folder for all of my different images and videos I'll be saving and I just drag it right here, drag it into the folder I already have created. Yes, yeah, so I already have that and I always create folders on the desktop because uh, I create a lot. Of, <laughs> I collect a lot of images and in, um, in videos for these videos. So I do that and then after that I can close out and I can continue to search. And I'll search for other things like a vacuum and a violet and other things I'm looking for. You just go right back up to the search box and search exactly what you're looking for. So the next thing I'm looking for is a vacuum. So that's what I would search. But let's head over to Adobe Premiere now, okay? So I'm going to drag my video. I already have the video. I know what I want to use. Drag it over to my timeline. And then I have to scroll over to the actual section of the video the point at which I say volcano or V for volcano. I usually like sound out the letters and make the letter sounds and then give them an example of something that starts with that letter. So in this case, it's going to be volcano. So I know that I say it around nine minutes, 38 seconds, something like that. So I'm gonna scroll, scroll, scroll until I get to about 9.38. Let's see, I'm almost there. Go back a little bit, right there. Okay, so around here somewhere. I say, oh, there I go. I say, volcano. <laughs> and so that is exactly where I want to place my volcano video. I want it to go right there. So I need to quickly drag that volcano video. Now I have all of the images and things I need. So I'm going to drag everything that I got for letter V. And I'm going to drag them right here into this box. And after I drag them into the box, they'll appear. And then um, I can close that. And then I'm ready to drag my volcano onto the timeline. So I'm gonna go drag it right back to that spot where I stopped before and where I said volcano. And now here's the fun part. You get to move the volcano, the volcano video around. Okay, so it's in the right space and now I'm going to move it around. Okay, so click on that image right there, that little purple, looks like a rectangle, you click on that. Head up to the volcano video and double click. Double click and then once I double click, you'll see you'll be able to move the actual video around. And the same thing for images, you do the same exact thing. So I wanna make it a little smaller because what I usually do is put the images and videos to the left of the screen. And so I move them over to the left and I can line them up. In this case, I'm gonna leave the volcano at the top. And I think that's small enough. It's like, you know, pretty good, 
pretty good. And then I just go ahead and give it a try and make sure it works. It's perfect. There we go. <laughs> yes. We're good to go. And now you would add an image the same exact way, but let's skip ahead and see what it all looks like. Volcano. Volcano. And then vacuum. And now the violet. Violet. So all of these start with letter B and you really can see how these visuals bring the lesson to life. Love it. So what did you think? I hope this video was helpful and I hope you got some great tips on how you can bring your educational videos to life using Adobe Stock photos and videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.